Welcome back to Thursday's Midday. Annie Collins is joining us now from Glass Act Recycling. They're busy all year long, and she's here just to give us the latest on what's happening there. Miss Annie, thanks for being with us. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so excited. You know, uh, we just celebrated our second birthday mm -hmm. on March 4th, and we also just had a State of the Union. So I thought it would be um, good today to talk about the state of the glass okay. and where we are. <laughs> so people, um, we opened our doors on March 4th, and since then we've collected 270,000 pounds of glass, wow. which is a lot. Um, but there's a lot more out there. We uh -huh. have barely touched the surface. So in that two years, we've done that. Um, we have a full volunteer cl um, uh, team, and that team, look at all that glass. Right. It is a lot of it, and it needs a lot of handling by our volunteers. So oh. there are students, and there are retired uh, moms and dads and grandparents, and there's sororities, and there's um, people that are uh, coming from Clico and Crest and uh, PNG and all those sorts of places to help us out. So we really rely on that. Um, and what do we do with the glass? A lot of people ask me, well, what do we do with the glass? Well, it's crushed and then it's processed for two services. One is um, swimming pool filtration right and the other one is sandblasting so we're doing very well with that although we are looking for a sales rep um, so that'll be great a part-time person who wants to go out and talk about all the good things that are with our environment um, and there we are glass act is hiring <laughs> <laughs> so um, we have um, uh, we have a great relationship with the state of Louisiana and Love the Boot. So right. Love the Boot is coming up on uh, the end of April mm -hmm. and once again we will be working with the school uh, at schools in Rapides Parish. Okay. So all of those schools will um, be collecting. They'll come on two weekends that wrap around the guests, uh, the, the Love the Boot mm -hmm. and then the school with the um, uh, most donation of glass is the winner. Okay. And the kids get excited and the grandparents are collecting glass, they're picking glass up off of everything <laughs> and so they're like, oh wait a minute, this is for Cherokee, oh no, wait a minute, this is for Pineville. So um, they, uh, they, they love that and of course we are getting glass from uh, I think we are now up to 42 or 43 different zip codes. Wow. And so just to give you an idea, there we are. We are really <laughs> um, excited about our, our glass pickup service. Um, but we do, um, uh, we do collect glass from all over. We're the only glass recycling center north of I-10. Mm -hmm. So we're getting a lot of um, uh, enthusiasm, right. if, you, if you will. And we, we, you know, we have such a good time. It's such a good service, and the kids love it, and we love it, and so oh. that's what we do. Hey, that is great. And so yeah. I was going to ask you, you know, um, for anyone that is interested not only in that part-time position, but also in volunteering, how can they go about doing that? Yeah, so um, everything you do, and you just saw, see it on the screen there, it goes mm -hmm. to the website. Okay. So you can go to the website, you can sign up to volunteer, you can send us a message, you can donate there. Um, but but we are we're open from 8 to 12 on Fridays and Saturdays okay so we kind of cross the uh, day of the week and the weekend mm -hmm. um, we also have uh, been for metal and for cardboard so when you're coming you can bring all of it okay but um, parents bring their children a lot of children um, use this as service hours right and so they love doing that um, we have retired people who come every week maybe just to crush uh, I'm there every week mm -hmm. um, I it's it's just a great place and everyone has a good time absolutely yeah, yeah. so um, and let's see what else have we got going on oh we have our guests who's coming to dinner dinner party okay. um, that's gonna be in May and so we're about to announce um, our host mm -hmm. do you remember me do you remember anything about that event I don't think so let me tell you because it's really fun okay we have time um, um, so we have maybe five or six people who say, I will host a dinner party, mm -hmm. and I can, my dining room table will seat 10. 
Okay. And so uh, we count that up and we say, oh, well, we have 50 tickets to sell. So we go out and we sell the tickets and we can tell people uh, where, where you're going to, you know, we can't tell you where you're going to go, but we can okay. tell you the five homes. Okay. So it might be at, I don't know, maybe the mayor's office or maybe uh, uh, not office home or, or maybe it's at the, um, we just, you know, whoever. Right. All of your friends and neighbors who want to want to have a dinner party. You buy a ticket, and then uh, you get uh, to find out where you're going. And so you don't know where you're going, and the host doesn't know where you're going. But it's a fabulous event. Awesome. Well, Miss yeah. Annie, we are just about out of time, but yeah, I'm so we can sorry. You know, we can go back <laughs> over that next time you come in. Okay, so that'll that be fun. Good. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so well, much for being with us. Appreciate it. Absolutely.